Tomato ketchup is one of the world's most popular condiments and it can be found in many households around the world. We have it with burgers, fries, and just about anything that we can think of to complement our meals. Heinz is one of the market leaders in ketchup, selling over 650 million bottles of ketchup around the world every year. We visited its European factory in the Netherlands to see how the world famous condiment is made. Here in Els we make sauces for the Kraft Heinz company. Uh, our main product is ketchup, that's 70% of what we do. We make about 1.8 million bottles a day and that relates to about 175,000 tons of ketchup a year. The ketchup making process starts here, where crates of tomato paste weighing 1,300 kilograms are transported from the Heinz warehouse using automated forklifts. The crates are opened and then go to the paste dumper where these huge ronin pings squeeze the paste out of the package. After the paste has been extracted, it sits in a storage bin where it's mixed with water to give it a smoother consistency. This makes it easier to transport to the storage tank where it will sit until moving on to the ketchup kitchen. This is our ketchup kitchen and this is where we actually produce the tomato ketchup. Ketchup is made of five ingredients, sugar, vinegar, tomato paste, brine and the secret spices. The spices are dosed by hand. We dose everything, we mix it and afterwards it goes into our process. The process is mainly about heating it, the ketchup and then cooling it down. Afterwards, we fill it into the bottles. But before any ketchup can be shipped, each batch must be rigorously tested through this contraption, which Heinz calls the quantifier. This is our quantifier. It's a method where we measure viscosity of our Heinz tomato ketchup. It's a methodology that we use in all our ketchup factories so that we compare the ketchup uh, quality for all the factories. What we do is we put a certain amount of ketchup inside the quantifier, we release it and we measure how fast it has traveled after 10 seconds. Point five within range. It's a special method designed by Heinz. The ketchup cannot move faster than 0.028 miles per hour. If it has traveled too far, we have to block it, cannot sell it. If it's within the range, we can release it. It's for the empty bottles. They go into the filler. We have 70 filling heads. It's a filler that it, uh, works by weight. So a bottle comes in, we check the weight of the empty bottle, we fill it to the proper weight with ketchup, and then we check again if we reached the filling weight. The boxes with caps are emptied at the bottom floor by the operator and transported upstairs. Upstairs we make sure the caps are put in the right position and go to a single row of caps so that we can position them properly on the bottle in the filling machine. And for this bottle we have three labels, so we have a neck label, a back label and a front label. These labels are self-adhesive so we don't need any glue for it. After the label we go to a tray packer where we get the tray from the bottom. We fold it around the bottles, after that put a shrink wrap around it and make sure the bottles are tight and packed in the, in the tray. From the tray packer we go to the pelletizer where a robot puts the trays in the right position and from the right position we make layer for layer on the pallet. After that we put a shrink wrap around it. <laughs> 